Hey, welcome to my channel. Finally picked up one of these premium collections. I actually grabbed all three of them. So I have all three of the grass, fire, water, premium collections. I still haven't pulled any of the special illustration rares from Paldean Fates. At this point, I don't care which one. I just would like to pull one. The Charizard, the Mew, or the Guard of War. I've opened up quite a bit of Paldean Fates at this point and just have pulled some pretty cool stuff, but not any of the special illustration rares of the Pokemon, at least. Really cool promo cards that you get. So happy to pick up a few of those that are actually promo cards. And I know this is for the stand thing, but I'm not gonna use that, that's silly. Code for the box. And it's been a while since I've got one of these big cards. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the amount of work put into these big cards is admirable. I don't know how how many people actually really want these, but I'll put it over here. It's actually really nice. Look at all of these packs. That box is heavy. Man, this is quite the product here. It's also quite expensive, so it should be. Three, six, eight packs. And then, this is actually what makes it so heavy. Is all these layers of plastic. But this thing right here. Pretty cool. I really like the Charizard EX box and the Gyarados box that came with actually these right here. I have them right below me. Here's the Gyarados. I really like those. And so yeah, I was happy to see that they did it again, but it doesn't come with a base. It just comes like this, which is kind of lame. You should come with the base. You already put so much work into the product. It's so heavy. It's so expensive, but you just give us that piece of plastic that we're supposed to prop it up on. That's yeah, it's kind of silly. Well, let's get into the packs here. I guess I'll save the plastic. Maybe I'll feel differently about it at some point. It's just, it's so cheap. It's such a cheap little piece of crap. Look. How does it go? Like this? I don't know. I mean... Anyway, let's rip into these packs. What do we got there? What do we got? Do I see something there? The Nimona again. Nimona, what are you doing? I've pulled this card several times. It's the code. Man, I'm a mess today. I don't even know what's going on. My mind is scattered. I don't I don't know how to feel about that. Let me see if I can get all these showing up there for you guys. I do really like the promo cards that it comes with. I love that it's three in the evolution line and then the the big boy is a four. I think that's that's really cool. Started off with the Nimona. I have definitely pulled that Nimona card several times at this point. Not what we're looking for. Come on, you know what we're looking for here. I thought surely these premium collections will give us some premium hits. Gengar, Charmeleon, and Annihilate. 
right, they're coming. They're coming. Let's slow it down. Slow down. My dog thinks I'm talking to him. It's like, bro, I'm not going fast. Baroom. See if we can get our first little shiny. And of course, we get the Wiggly Tough EX. What a what a beautiful card. And I'm embossed stuff. Very cool. Pretty sure I pulled that Wiggly Tough. So we got another, the, the full art shiny, the Pidgeot EX. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And we're getting a lot of full arts right now. What is going on? Charmeleon and Reververum. Come on, you know we need the big SIR though. Got a few more chances right here. Those are really, really cool cards though. Couple more packs here. We got the Tinka Tough and a Mimic You. Here it is, y'all. Last pack. Not a bad box at all. Let's see if we can get anything out of this last pack. I see a little shiny action. It is another full art shiny. Well, there's the theme for this box. The fourth full art, but no special illustration rares. Some pretty cool hits, though. The Wiggly Tough, the Quad Sire, the Pidgeot, the Nimona, and the Promos. Yeah, pretty cool. See you guys on the next one.